Hello, everyone. Today I'm showing you how to check out magazines from the Downers Grove Library using the Libby app. Libby is your one stop app for books, audiobooks, and now you can borrow magazines too. You can find Libby in the Google Play Store or Apple Store. Libby has thousands of magazines. You can check out as many as you want, and you never need to place a hold. All magazines are always available, including popular titles and some that you've never heard of. This video demonstrates Libby eMagazines on a tablet. It will look similar on your device. After you open the Libby app, there are different ways to search for magazines. Here are three ways. First, you can tap on the magnifying glass search icon and type in the title of a specific magazine to see if it's available in Libby. In this case, The Economist is available, and if you want the newest issue, you can just tap Borrow. Uh, whenever you see smaller magazine images for a title, which you see here next to The Economist, that means you can also check out older issues. Another way to search is once again tapping that magnifying glass search icon, and this time I'm going to put in a subject, quilting. My results include books, magazines, and audiobooks. Simply tap the underlined text that says 20 magazines to quickly see the magazines on quilting. Another way that you can search the whole magazine section is by selecting the library building icon. And this brings you to the eMedia homepage. And from here, you just scroll down to our guides and there is a magazine guide. And if you tap on that, uh, you can browse all magazine titles available. Scrolling down, the first thing that Libby displays are the most popular magazine titles. So let's go ahead and check out a copy of Cook's Illustrated. I'm tapping on the cover of the current Cook's Illustrated. And if I want the current issue, I just tap borrow from this screen. If I'd like an older issue, scroll down, find the issue that you want, tap that cover, and tap borrow. And then on one more screen, tap borrow again. The magazine will download on your device so you can read it without using Wi-Fi or data. When you check out a magazine, Libby also asks you if you want to be notified when new issues of this magazine are released. Click show me how if you do. To find and read magazines you have checked out, click on the bookshelf icon and you'll see your items you have checked out and tap open magazine to open a magazine. Here are four reading tips. Tap the center of the screen to show or hide the navigation bar, swipe your screen to turn the pages, tap the article button, which is the circle with a piece of paper in the middle of it, to open an article up in an easy to read format, and four, tapping the letter A, which in this case is on the bottom of the screen, allows you to change the font size. With some practice, you'll get comfortable reading magazines in Libby. More directions for reading magazines in Libby can be found by tapping this link in the video description. To recap, in Libby, you can check out as many magazines as you want. You can set up notifications to find out when new issues of your favorite titles are released. And all of the magazines are always available. You never need to place a hold. If you have any questions, just stop by the Ask Us desk or call us or use the chat function on the library website.